Hi, it's Zippy from Inner Alchemist, and today I want to share with you three things that my Makineta taught me about dealing with stress. So I am in my kitchen to explain to you. First of all, this is a Makineta. It is a stovetop Italian coffee maker. The first thing we can learn about a Makineta is, you know, it uses pressure much like a pressure cooker, and according to psychologist Kelly McGonigal, it all depends on how you perceive the stress. If you see stress as something you can befriend, as something you can handle, then it is good for you. In fact, better for you than people that see stress as something detrimental or folks that don't have any stress or very little stress at all in their lives. The folks that are dealing with moderate stress and befriended are the ones that actually live the longest. Number two, moderate amounts of stress, moderate amounts of pressure, much like what a maquineta uses, actually can improve so many things in our life, like our immunity, our performance, our memory, and many, many other things. But you don't want to have chronic stress. Like if I were to leave this maquineta on my stovetop, I would have uh, such a mess. It would spray coffee all over the place, and even worse, probably explode the machine. I don't even want to think about it. Number three, it all depends on how you filter the situation. You see, for many of us, life can be a daily grind. How are you going to use those daily grinds? Very simply ask yourself the following question. What can I leave behind so that I can extract the greatest good, the greatest flavor from this situation? Because a maquineta filters with very tiny little holes. It leaves behind all of the junk and leaves a delicious cup of coffee for you to enjoy. So reviewing, one, befriend stress. Two, you want to uh, use it in moderate amounts because chronic stress is destructive, but moderate bursts are good. And number three, filter. Let go of what you don't need today so that you can ask yourself, how do I get the most flavor in any situation? So I would love for you to stay in contact with me like either my Facebook page or below subscribe to my YouTube channel. And most importantly, with great love, my amore for you, I wish you a ciao until next time.